made it to Grand Teton National Park. This place is mind blowing. I forgot how cool this place was. I just pulled into the like the main road and just looking up at the Teton range, just like, it's mind blowing. The size of these mountains, how they just jut up. I think it's like 7,000 feet or something from the ground is amazing it really is so so happy to be here it's like six o'clock like just kind of before golden hour golden hour starting things like that and i came up to a place called jenny lake which is a super super popular place here and i just want to kind of walk around for now and just check the lake out and just be back in the evergreens and the mountains and things like that i'm just so so stoked for it van ran absolutely great getting up here i'm really stoked on that it took like four and a half hours so really wasn't that bad i made a few stops too which was which was awesome. So yeah, just so, so stoked to finally be back here. And we're gonna go walk around the lake a little bit and see what's going on here at Jenny Lake. So this is where I decided to come to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, Grand Teton National Park. Man, it's such a cool place. I've only been here one other time, so I don't have a ton of experience here, by the way. And I've never been here when it's like this early in the summer. It's so green. It's amazing, it really is. And I have like really no plan. To be honest, I have no plan. I don't know what I'm doing, where I'm going, how long I'm gonna be here for, what I'm gonna see. I kind of just showed up here. But yeah, this place is so cool. Jenny Lake. I'm gonna explore around. I'm trying to stay in the shade here. We just saw a big bear through the clearing, like to the left of me. Man, I, I didn't, it was far away, got a wide angle on, so I couldn't see it and it disappeared, but it was a big, it looked like a grizzly too, got the big hump on its back. I'm not sure if I should keep going or if I should sort of head back to like where there's more people, to be honest, but he's literally right to my lookers, right? Bear spray is like huge, no joke. But that was a big bear. I'm telling you, big, big guy. I saw him from a distance too. I want to just keep talking because that's honestly the best thing to really do, especially when you're around bears so they know where you are. So I'm just going to talk to you guys while I walk back this trail a little bit because I'm telling you, he was maybe 100 yards to my right. Big guy right through the clearing. There's a few more people up ahead, so I'm going to see if I can kind of get back up with them, but I'm just going to keep talking to you guys. I saw the guy right down in here. Hey, bear. Big boy. Beautiful creatures, really. They just uh, can be dangerous if, if you're not prepared and you aren't bear aware, as they say. So, and of course, you're near water, so it attracts, attracts the animals even more. And here in their part of the woods, so just amazing, though. There was a grizzly, like, right up that trail. Okay. Just giving you guys a heads up. Okay. Yeah. Is it close to the trail? Close to the trail? Yeah, how close? It was probably like 100 yards to the okay, left. Okay. It was a big one, too. Cool. See you guys. Oh, I wish I got there for you guys so you could see it, man. But it just, like I said, it happened so quick. Wide angle lens, 100 yards away, and then he disappeared into the bush. But uh, I want to show you guys this water. It's so clear, it'll blow your mind. This camera's so close to the water, it's kind of freaking me out. But we're down here, right on the shoreline of Jenny Lake. It is beautiful. Anyways, guys, check this water out. Ooh. Look just how clear that is literally see right through it wow it's cold too i want to show you guys something oh and that that's my bear bell make some noise while i'm alone check this out this is my 85 mil listen you hear that I don't know what it is. It was working earlier, it just kind of happened. Let's see if it still works, I guess. So I feel like the 85 is fine. The image stabilization worked, the focus modes worked, autofocus and manual. And then when I put the lens like away, it like stopped making the noise again. So it's really weird. I don't know why it would make that noise. It was the first time I did it when I took it off the camera. Anyways, it works. So that's the biggest thing. Sun is like, now it's behind the mountains. It's amazing how much of a difference it makes. This was all lit up before and now it's rather flat and dull. Still absolutely beautiful, but uh, it's definitely, it's like 7, 30, 8 o'clock. Sun doesn't set to like 9, 10 here. Isn't that unreal how long the days are right now? 
Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to the van and drive down the road a little bit. I don't, I don't even know. And just try to catch some good road vantage points for sunset, see if the clouds light up. I literally have no idea, but this is just awesome. What do you mean? Something that's super cool and unique about the Tetons is that they run, I believe, north-south. So both sunrises and sunsets can just be absolutely magnificent. Look at the light just, oh, just casting on mountains right now. It is so insane. I think I'm gonna skate in the road, skate with my penny board and set up a camera and take some slow-mo shots because why the heck not when it looks like this, right? Woo! One of my favorite things in the world about being on this earth is when the light hits mountain peaks like that. I don't know what it is, but when that ever happens, I get so fired up, so excited, and I'm just like in awe because it looks so freaking cool. And the amazing part about today or tonight, whatever, is that I had absolutely no plan. Zilch, zero, nada, no plan at all. And I ended up seeing a bear, walking around Jenny Lake, which was beautiful, and Seeing this, just like by happenstance, so I'm just gonna go for a drive down the park and this happens. Oh, and one more thing, check this out. I met these girls from Denver who are all teachers, like four of them. And they're like, hey, you want some food? I'm like, yeah, I want some food. They gave me a whole bag full of ramen. Like, could this day get any better? The answer is no, it can't. Can you guys see that? 9.06. Look at how light it still is. Look at this. It's like the sun hasn't even, it hasn't even set yet. What do you even say with something like this? Just look at it. It is so beautiful, this stuff. I don't even know what to say, it's mind blowing. Mind blowing, I'm on like a scenic drive of Jenny Lake. I'm on the south end or the north end. I honestly have no idea. But what I do know is that it's 9.07 and it's, it's still like daylight, just incredible. This place is so, and like, again, I just missed it, but as I got out of my car, this like super cool fox looking thing, like scattered around the trees or something. It was like, it was pretty big too. It was way bigger, it was like a fox coyote. I don't, I don't know, but man, oh man, this stuff is just incredible. I think it's, it's starting to get to bear time right now. It's definitely the bear gonna be coming out. I wanna try to get one for you guys. I wanna try to find one, get it on camera. Ugh. What a day that was. I forgot to even eat. I haven't ate a single thing all day. I had a Gatorade and that was about it. So it's like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. It's still like light out, blue hour. Not totally dark yet. Definitely not daytime, but man, what a day. So tomorrow's another big day, especially getting up for sunrises. Sunrise starts at like 545, I believe I looked up. So that's a pretty early one considering it's already 10 o'clock. So yeah, that's the vlog for today. It was just kind of winging it off the seat of my pants, but I think it was a freaking awesome day. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful um, Grand Teton National Park up here in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. One of my most favorite places to go, but you'll quickly realize I say that about every single place I go to. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.